In the fast-paced world of software development, two methodologies often dominate the conversation, agile and waterfall. Picture this, it's the early 2000s and a room full of developers is heartedly discussing the next big project. On one side, you have proponents of the waterfall methodology with its structured linear approach where each phase of development cascades into the next like a series of predictable controlled waterfalls. Every requirement is defined upfront, aiming for a project course as smooth and predictable as a well-charted river. Across the room, agile supporters advocate for a more dynamic approach. Imagine a team of jazz musicians where the plan evolves through short improvisational sprints adapting to new information and customer feedback like a river effortlessly, adjusting its course around props. Agile is built on the principles of flexibility, continuous improvement, and direct collaboration with customers, which often leads to innovative solutions that more rigid methodologies might miss. The debate between these two methodologies is not just academic, it has real-world implications. Consider the statistics. According to the Project Management Institute, Agile projects are 28% more successful than traditional projects. This statistic alone sparks a question. Is Agile always superior or do certain projects benefit from the predictability of waterfall? As we dive deeper into Agile versus waterfall debate, we will explore how choosing the right methodology can be akin to choosing the right tools for a journey. Sometimes you need the reliability of a well-paved road and other times the flexibility of an off-road vehicle. And before we commence guys, just a quick info for you. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like, and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. You can elevate your career as a sought-after certified Scrum Master through immersive training by globally renowned CSTs. Uncover Scrum secret and enhance teamwork, transparency and results with CSM certification. Get expert coaching, ace the CSM exam and propel your career to new heights, unlock higher salaries and discover exciting opportunities. This course demonstrates the accomplishment of core Scrum knowledge to employers and are highly valued across industries since they have verified skills. CSM professionals gain access to local groups, networks and resources available only to Scrum Alliance members. And don't forget to check out the course link from the description box and the pinned comment. With that guys, let's get started. What is Agile? Agile is a project management methodology that emphasizes iterative development, where requirements and solutions evolve through the collaborative effort of self-organizing and cross-functional teams and their customers and users. It advocates adaptive planning, evolutionary development, early delivery, and continual improvement and it encourages flexible responses to change. And now have a look at diagram. The diagram is a visual representation of the Agile software development cycle. It illustrates the non-linear, iterative approach of Agile methodology consisting of five key phases. Plan. Identify the project goals, scope, and what needs to be done during the sprint. Design. Work out how the features or functionality will look and how they will work. Develop. Build the actual features based on the design. Test. Check the new features for bugs and ensure they work as intended. Review. Evaluate the progress and work done, often with stakeholders, to get feedback. The central part of the diagram labeled Agile methodology indicates that these phases are part of a cycle that repeats with each sprint or iteration. After the review phase, the cycle can begin again with a new plan phase, where the feedback received is used to improve the next iteration. The arrows demonstrate the continuous movement from one phase to another in a loop, reflecting the dynamic nature of Agile development. The arrows outside the circle plan, design, develop, and launch could signify the broader stages of the project from inception to the final launch, providing a general context for the iterative cycles within. Now let's understand. What is Waterfall? Definition Waterfall is a linear and sequential project management methodology where each phase of the project life cycle must be completed fully before the next phase can begin. This method is characterized by a strict procedural flow, making it straightforward and predictable. Now let's have a look at the diagram. This diagram outlines the phases of a typical software development process, often referred to as a life cycle. Here's a concise explanation suitable for a beginner. Requirement gathering. This is where you decide what the software should do, collecting all the necessary requirements. Analysis. In this step, 
You examine the requirements to understand them thoroughly and to identify any potential issues or areas needing more clarity. Design. Based on the requirements and analysis, you create a blueprint or design for the software, detailing how it will work and what it will look like. Coding. This is where developers write the actual code for the software, turning the design into a functioning program. Testing. The software is rigorously tested to find and fix any errors or bugs to ensure it meets the original requirements and is of high quality. Operations. Finally, the software is ready for use and goes into operation. This stage also includes maintenance and updates as needed. Now let's start with the difference between Agile VS, waterfall methodology. First on the basis of process. Agile. The process is iterative, which means it repeats with adjustments over time. Development is cyclical, allowing for revisiting and revising any step as needed. Waterfall. The process is linear, proceeding through a sequence of steps that flow downwards like a waterfall from requirements gathering to deployment, with no return to previous steps. Flexibility. Agile. Agile is very flexible. It not only allows but expects requirements to evolve and change, which it can accommodate at nearly any stage of the project. Waterfall. Waterfall is inflexible after the initial stages. Once requirements are defined and the project has begun, changes are disruptive and often lead to increased cost. Customer collaboration. Agile. Continuous customer involvement is crucial for agile projects. Regular feedback is sought to ensure the product meets the customer's needs and expectations. Waterfall. Customer involvement is typically limited to the beginning requirements gathering and the end acceptance testing of the project. Delivery. Agile. Agile delivers work in small, usable segments validated by the customer, often resulting in a series of incremental releases that build up to the final product. Waterfall. Waterfall delivers the complete product at once after it has passed through all the sequential phases and is fully complete. Team structure. Agile. Teams in Agile are usually made up of members with varied skills that collaborate throughout the project. This cross-functionality encourages innovation and rapid problem-solving. Waterfall Waterfall teams often work in phases or silos, where each team's work is dependent on the previous phase's completion. Collaboration across different functions is more structured and formal. Testing Agile Testing in Agile is ongoing and occurs concurrently with development. This allows for immediate feedback and issue resolution. Waterfall In Waterfall, Testing is a distinct phase that happens after the development phase is complete, which can delay the discovery of issues. Documentation Agile Documentation is kept as lean as possible to save time and resources, emphasizing the working product over comprehensive documentation. Waterfall Waterfall requires thorough documentation before any design or development begins, serving as a blueprint throughout the project lifecycle. Embrace of change Agile Agile methodologies embrace change, viewing it as an opportunity to improve the end product continuously. Waterfall Waterfall methodologies resist changes post the initial stages due to the high cost and time required to accommodate them. Risk management Agile Agile allows for early detection of issues and risks due to frequent testing and customer feedback, facilitating more effective risk management. Waterfall Risks in waterfall are usually identified and managed during the testing phase or if a risk becomes a reality, often leading to more significant overhauls at a later stage. Focus Agile Agile focuses on delivering a product that satisfies the customer's current needs by accommodating changing requirements throughout the process. Waterfall Waterfall focuses on strict adherence to the initial project plan with an emphasis on delivering the project within the planned schedule and requirements. These explanations should provide beginners with a clear understanding of the two methodologies, highlighting not just what they are, but also the practical implications of choosing one over the other for a given project. Now let's examine. Choosing between Agile and Waterfall methodologies depends on the specific context of the project, the requirements of the stakeholders, and the nature of the work to be done. Here's a guideline on when to use each. Use Agile when. Requirements are unclear or expected to change. If the project scope isn't fully understood or if you expect changes during development, Agile allows for flexibility and adaptation. Client collaboration is important. Projects where frequent client feedback is desired or necessary benefit from Agile's iterative approach. The product needs to go to market quickly. 
If there's a push for the minimum viable product MVP to be released quickly, Agile allows for faster and incremental releases. The project is complex and high risk. For projects where risks need to be identified and addressed quickly, Agile facilitates rapid issue identification and resolution. Team empowerment is a priority. Agile supports self-organizing teams that can make decisions on the fly, which can lead to higher satisfaction and productivity. Use waterfall when requirements are clear and stable. If the project's requirements are well understood and unlikely to change, waterfall provides a structured approach. Regulatory documentation is required. In industries where detailed documentation is required for compliance, e.g. healthcare, construction, aerospace, waterfall's emphasis on documentation is beneficial. The client prefers to see the complete product. Some clients may be more comfortable with reviewing and approving the final product rather than being involved in every iteration. Project complexity is manageable. For simpler projects or projects where the technology and solutions are well understood, waterfall can be more efficient. Sequential nature is required. Projects that need to be executed in a linear fashion, for instance, when one phase truly cannot start before the previous one is complete align well with waterfall. It's important to note that some modern project management practices involve blending Agile and Waterfall into a hybrid approach, taking elements of both to suit the project's needs. For instance, a project might begin with a Waterfall approach for establishing clear specifications and then switch to Agile to develop incremental portions of the product. This combination can leverage the strong planning foundation of Waterfall with the flexibility and adaptability of Agile. With that guys, we have come to the end of this session. In case of any queries, feel free to drop your questions in the comment section. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, do appreciate it with a thumbs up and stay tuned for more information. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.